Okay, boxing fans, well, we have a great treat for you because right now we have the bronze bomber, bronze medalist in 2008 Beijing Olympic Games, and he is a major heavyweight contender right now, one of the most exciting prospects in boxing right now. I have got Deontay Wilder on the line with me, uh, all the way from Alabama in America. Deontay, it's great having you on. How's it going? Bronze squad! What's up, fellas? Y'all know I got to get that out. You know, for all my one-on-five fans. Let's go, baby. It's our turn. Deontay, you are... Hello, you're 30-0. Well, that is just an amazing record. Oh, definitely. You know, um, I just got the glory, man, and the praises, you know. Um, you know, it's been a, a tremendous um, run for me in this in the in the, in the pro rankings. And, um, you know, we, we train hard. We I put a lot of time and effort in my training, you know, that's where mostly I am, you know, I don't never really get out and do nothing because I'm always what I call my dungeon, man, I'm always in the, in, in the dungeon working on myself, working on different things and tactics that I can improve on, so, you know, hard work definitely pays off. You've obviously, you've obviously had a big fight recently against Nikolai Further, and in fact, your last three fights have been against big opponents, you've had Audley Harrison, Lyakovich, who I believe was a former world champion himself, and you've got and you've had Fertha recently. Have those three fights really sort of elevated you recently? Have you had to change up your training since that? Well, we, we, now nah, we, you know, I really just never trained up my 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 training. But uh, once we go into camp, um, that's when we kind of do different things because now we have you know different sparring partners and and different different things that our opponent is going to do. We try to emulate with the sparring partners and stuff like that. So, but as far as regular training, I, I, I still do the same thing I, I do, you know. Um, and that's how it's been working for me, and um, that's how we're going to keep it. But, uh, you know, I, I, it's, it's always a, a plus when you have great sparring partners that come in and that's willing to, to come at you and give you your their all, you know, to come in and, and try to bust, you, bust your head open, not just coming there just for, for money, but, you know, the guys that we choose in, 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 in training and sparring, in sparring they, they definitely put forth an effort to, to give me the best of them, and uh, that's been a big help to me as well. And when we see you in the ring, what we see is pure entertainment, because, in fact, your fights don't even last that long because you knock people out so quickly. Uh, is, it the uh, same, right. is it the same when you're actually out there sparring? Because uh, you just, you're, you're so fast, aren't you? But, man, I'm a true story. It's a, it's a place... In Atlanta, Georgia, man, where where now it's to the point where if I go there, they charge. They have they charge me to spar now because every time I go there, I'm always knocking somebody out. <laughs> or I'm always giving somebody a concussion. That's a true story. Um, but you know, it, you know, I, when it, when you're dealing with sparring, even though I go 100, percent but I, I'm not in there really to try to kill my guy or hurt my guy. You know, I'm in there definitely to mm-hmm. learn and him learn as well too. So you know, sometimes. You you can't be you know it's, it's what makes me so dangerous is that people underestimate my speed you know they really do until they get in the ring and and and, and see how fast I really am with my head and feet you know um outside of the ring you know you can't get the full effect of how fast I really am until you until you my opponent and uh, that's that's been a key factor to to most of my knockouts as well not only because I'm naturally strong but have mighty strength but um I'm, i put speed behind it and they say speed is power and the other thing with you is let's get this straight you've got 30 wins but you've got 30 knockouts as well so you've maintained a hundred percent knockout ratio in professional boxing but i i don't believe anybody's actually ever gone more than four rounds with you so i'm not sure right. if this is an appropriate question or not but <laughs> who's actually been your trickiest fighter yet who's actually tested you the uh-huh. most who has been the the world fighter? The trickiest. Who's tested you the most? Even though I don't think anybody's lasted more than four rounds with you, but well, you know, yeah, that's that's still to be determined because, yeah, you, I mean, nobody's lasted more than four, and, and you know, we, when we get to that point that somebody does last four, you know, um, people going to see a more interesting Deontay, more, you know, with the first fight, you see me do stuff that I never did before, which follow behind the right hand with the left hook come with, with uppercut and stuff like that you know uh, I got all the tools I got I got all the tools and the fact is as far as boxing wise you know I, you know sometimes you know 
by going short rounds or, or getting my opponent out so quickly, I really don't be able to display all my talent that I have. So now, um, I start, now I, I told myself that, you know, early in the rounds, you know, because you, you just never know what punch is going to take you out, you know. And uh, I'm saying I'm going to start displaying the things that I have, my tactics early. So um, from from that fight on to any other fight, you, I, must, I start displaying more of a boxing, how I can really box instead of just, you know, all about setting them up for the right hand. Because most of my opponents, I, I set you up. Yeah. You know, that's why I, I set you up because I feel like, you know, it, you're not getting paid for overtime, so so why why go all the rounds that I don't have to? And I'm and I always say I'm a heavyweight, and when people come and spend their hard earned money, they come to see a knockout. When they Precisely, say, "Oh, yeah. I'm coming to see Beyonce Wilder," I'm coming to get dressed. I'm coming to look my best, not only for the women or not only for the men, <laughs> but I'm coming to see a knockout. And, and you know, and I, I deliver that every time. But um, you know, I, I definitely want to get the rounds in and, and, and stuff like that. And we have, I have played around with some guys just to get the rounds in. And and you know, people say, oh, you know, once you step up, you'll get that. But that's not necessarily true because you 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 don't know who can who can take a mighty blow, who can't. And that's that's one of the questions that's been asked for me. Can I take a punch and stuff? Well, I'm yeah. gonna tell you right now, I'm not just gonna sit there and let him punch me. <laughs> if I get a clean shot off me, he earn it. But, but ten ounce gloves. I had to wait. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Well, why get punched if 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 you're not going to let them get punched yourself? You can just uh, do that, I suppose, if you've got the talent. And critics do say, Deontay, that you haven't gone into a fight with somebody who's, uh, you know, going to last the distance with <laughs> you. If if it did go down to that situation, what would you say about that? If if it did go down to a point situation, because there's always going to be critics saying, "Oh no, the guy hasn't lasted the distance yet," but you're knocking people out so early. Right. Have they got a valid point? Right, right, right. I mean, if it, if it ever goes the distance, you know, I, I'll still be confident in my in my my skill of being able to fight box. You know, um, so you know nowadays, where in the past you've seen where many judges have been, <laughs> I, I, I hate to say paid or or or, or, or yeah, yeah, politicians yeah. got involved. So you've seen many robberies, and that's one of my biggest fear of me knowing that I whipped somebody ass and but they gave my win something that I worked hard for then had camps after camps and set up my body to work hard and get in shape and, and to come and know I won the fight but then I've been robbed and they give my win away to the to the opponent that he knew he lost but Absolutely, he gave yeah. the win. Absolutely and, yeah. you know that's that's I always one that's something that's in my back of my mind. But you know, I'm I'm not you know, and that's what keeps me, you know, training hard and doing the things that I do because I know if I if I if I knock them out, then we already know who won. We don't need a judge. But um, you know, I, we, we we soon see, man. You know, a lot of people, you know, because I'm knocking everybody out. You know, it's easy to say, oh, when he, you know, you need to step up and do this and do that. Um, <laughs> because I make it look so easy, man. I make it look so easy. Even when I'm looking at my tape, man. Even though it's, I don't feel it's easy inside that ring when I'm fighting. But when you're looking at it on the outside or looking at it on TV, it looks so easy. And I and I sit back and analyze myself, and I'm like, wow, you know, I did that. I did, I, you know, it, it may it may seem easy, but it's definitely not easy. You just can't pull no bomb off the street and think you're gonna knock them out. That's not that's not absolutely true. That's not true at all. You just can't pick nobody and think you're gonna knock out. If, if so, if it was that easy as I make it seem, everybody would have been everybody would be undefeated. You know, uh, you know, there's a lot of people that have fought guys that that have been uh, low oppositions um, of their level, and they hadn't knocked them out. Yeah. They went all rounds, or they knocked them out in the later rounds. But you know, but I, I do it. I, I knock them out, and I do it in good fashion and in good time. And then, you know, that's the only excuse people could 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 validate for me for as why I'm knocking people out because of this and that. Which, which you know, I understand. Mm -hmm. I understand because they 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 can't come up with another reason of why. You know, you know, but um, you know, soon they'll see. This is gonna be a. I'll be telling people this is gonna be an absolute great year, man. And um, you know, I I don't like to give out too much because I want to make sure that it's it's a done dollar, it's a done deal. That yeah. I want to get the facts out to the fans. You know, I don't like to miss miss um miss abuse for as uh, telling people oh this is gonna happen and they don't. You know, sometimes I'm. Sometimes when I say stuff happen, that's when I have got the word that is going to happen. There, you know, all the time things change up, things don't go as planned. 
and that's part of boxing. And, you know, and, you know, I'm always, you know, as far as my fans, I'm like, man, I want to give my fans what they want. I want to give them. But this year, man, it's it, it's, it's going to be a good year. It's going to be a good year. I guarantee you that. And, and once I get those belts, everybody that they want, all the fans that they want me to fight now, I have more of a hands-on say-so who I want. And I'm everybody, everybody want me to fight, you know. And if it's uh, definitely a legit opponent, it's def- the fight is definitely going to be made, no doubt. Because one, one thing, once you have a belt, everybody wants you anyway. So well, ain't nobody going to be running, ain't nobody, you ain't going to be worried about the money because either you want the money or you want this belt. So, you know, <laughs> you're going to come in. If I got what you want, you're going to come and get it, and we're going to make it happen nowhere, anywhere, anywhere it goes. There ain't going to be no excuses. So, so that's an important thing as far as me getting these belts. Exactly. So I can fight, so I can fight everybody. I'm sorry, go ahead. Well, no, 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 that's right. I mean, what, what you said is absolutely correct because in a, in an age where, you know, we've, we've lived in sort of a Klitschko uh, age as of late where you've had champions who are going to be lasting the distance and sort of playing a jabbing game. And it's really refreshing to see somebody who wants to go in there and, you know, really play an attacking game. And Vitali's dropped his belt now and you really are sniffing for that world title uh, belt now, aren't you? Definitely, definitely. Um, you can look for... You can Really, people can you know can can look forward to seeing me fight the winner uh, between Ariel and Stavern. Really, um, um, it's, a, it's 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 a strong possibility that I will be will be doing that. You know, a lot of people. You know, this, this, the the sad thing and the crazy thing, and also funny thing is that when I wasn't ranked high in the division, people always turned me. In. People always, oh, you need to climb in the rank. You need to get higher in the rankings. And this, now that I'm higher in the rankings, now people say, oh, the rankings don't mean nothing. And, 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 you know, it's, it's like you can't please everybody, and I know that, and I'm not trying mm-hmm. to please everybody. But no matter what I do, and do you know, there's always going to be somebody to come against me or somebody try to have something that, to say, you know, uh, either this or either that. So now I'm in the rankings, and, 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 you know, even though you can get in the rankings many ways, or whatever, whether a fighter felt like he des- he he deserved his spot or he didn't, or whatever it is, the ranking is the ranking, and that's all that that's matter to me. And I want I want my my fair chance at the title, just as any other fighter that's doing it as well too. So you know, uh, right now that that's why a lot of fights with me it, it don't really get made. People, you want you know, you have most of these fighters want so much money to just fight me because they want to be secure after the fight because they're not really. 100% confident that they're going to win the fight. Uh-huh. And, I, and, and, and especially with these promoters and stuff like that, you know, they can talk a good game on, on Twitter and, and, and get their media to, to put it in the, in the, in the paper or on the, on the, uh, online and stuff like that. But man, you know, a lot of guys, you know, want, want so much money that it, 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 it makes it difficult for the fight to happen. People are like, why? Well, you know, because, you know, some people don't want to risk that much or whatever. But that's why I say once I get the belt, it won't, it won't, money won't be the issue no more. It, it, because no matter what we, what, what we negotiate, the guy's going to take whatever it is because they want what I got. I got some value that's the belt. And that's the thing we're trying to say. So once I get it, it, it ain't no excuse why no fight going to be made because it ain't going to be the money no more because that's going to be eliminated. Whether I take, whether I take half of the money, that shouldn't be the, the that shouldn't be the main goal no more. The money should be the issue. It should be you wanting to take my belt. And I feel like that's the only way some of these fights going to be made. Once I get the belt, it's going to happen. Well, exactly. And yeah. I feel with, just like I feel with the, with, the, with the Tyson Fury fight, I don't think he's going to fight until I have this. Once I have this belt, I think I think some official will finally be made. Uh, which we've been doing a great job of self-promoting the fight out of sales. You know, we've been doing a hell of a good job of that. Who's that, sir? Who was that? You and who? Fighters. Yeah, Tyson. Fighters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah we've, been, we've been self-promoting that. You know, I, I feel the only way they're going to fight me is if I do have that belt, you know. Um, that's the only way I, I feel. And I'm closer to it. And, uh, and uh, once I get that belt, people can definitely, they can they just rub their hands together like it make more money because that that's definitely going to be made. You know, we've been self-promoting the fight. We've been doing a tremendous job, him and I, or, you know, on the Twitters and, and, and the media and stuff like that. That's one of the fights that, like, People, like, before I die, uh-huh. I got to make that, that got to happen. And, um, you know, and it's going to be a, a great fight, a great turnout um, worldwide, though. So so once, once that fight is booked, 
we really don't even need the the promoters really don't have to do that because we can self promote it. That's the way it is now. Well, that, well, you know, I tell you what, I think I think people in the UK are really warming to you as well, because I tell you what, when when I sat down and I saw you on uh, in the UK for the first time, I mean, when I sat down and watched you on the television, that was against Audley Harrison, and we, we expected that Audley Harrison might last a little bit longer, and then you went and knocked the guy out, and I, I think a lot of people saw from then this guy's going to be a serious heavyweight title contender. And there's a lot of fighters over here in the UK, and people are basically thinking of dream matches now. And, you know, you've got guys like Tyson Fury, who are after you as well. But once you get that belt, once you got that belt, are, are we expecting some uh, fights with some UK fighters as well then? Oh, def- definitely. I promise you. Once I get that, like I said, once I get the belt, I want, every, I want all of them to line up. And get whoever who all wants it, they're a legit fighter. You know, they, it's, you know I'm... I'm a type of champion, and I'm a type of champion that I don't want to sit out. I don't want to have a fight one and two times a year. I want to fight three or four, five times a year. Yeah. You get a mandatory, or you get a, 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 a top challenger. I want to be. I want to be fighting. Them, all right. Three months pass by. I want another one. I want the next one. I want the next one. That's that's how I operate because I feel like when you when you have a champion like that that's continuously fighting. Like that, it keep the, the not only does it keep the heavyweight division exciting, but it, it keep it keep you know great heavyweights uh, coming, giving them opportunities. Opportunity they don't have to wait so long, years and years and years to wait just for a title shot. I want I want to continuously keep that going, man. Uh, you say you ready? All right, let's go. Let's book a date. A couple months later, by Deontay Wilder fighting again for the defending his title again. I wouldn't care if I have six title defenses in one year, man. That'll be fine with me. I'm a fighter, man. I love this game, man. That's one thing about me that people really don't understand. I love fighting. I love this game. I, I, don't, I don't dodge. I don't duck nobody. That's not in my nature. Even before boxing was introducing me. But, but you know, I'm, I want to bring the, the sport back. I want to bring the entertainment of it back. And, and Deontay Wilder is definitely on the scene, baby. Well, Deontay, it's hopefully going to be a very good year for you in 2014, and the heavyweight division is as exciting as it's been for a very, very long time. What's your final message to your UK fans? And in fact, we've even got some listeners in South Africa this weekend. So, oh, cool. What, what's, your, what's your final message for us over here? Because it, it, it's really hotting up now, 2014 in the heavyweight division. Uh, definitely. To all, you know, to, to all that's listening, to all my fans that's listening, definitely... We gonna holler out Bomb Squad. That's what we call us, baby. We're Bomb Squad. But to all of us listening all over the world, I, you know, from the bottom of my heart, I mean, you hear it from me first that I love you guys. I, you know, dear, dear to my heart, and I, and I appreciate those that have been with me from day one. You know, um, you done gave me so much support. You done gave me courage. You done even motivated me to just train each and every time harder and harder and harder. And to um to uh, we definitely gonna 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 get a naysayers what what they we are gonna tell them. We always been telling them that my time's coming and my time's here. Once I get this belt we're gonna we're gonna definitely we ain't gonna wanna have to say it but we're gonna say we told you so and I'm definitely <laughs> gonna gonna make that happen for them. So y'all keep rooting for me, y'all keep fighting for me, y'all keep battling people in the in the in the, in the pubs, out on the streets, you know, 'cause I hear a lot of people say, you know, we I argue with this man about you all this is it and you know, that makes me even you know, it make it get me excited inside like, man, people defend me all over the world with other you know, people all everybody's gonna have their favorite fighter and you know, some people's gonna come with facts, some people just gonna come with opinions and some people just gonna come with the damn lie. You know, because it sounds good. Who wants who wants the pretty ugly truth when you can get the pretty lie? But um but but first it's, yeah, hey, here we come, baby, 2014. And to those that, you know, <laughs> undecided, to those that, you know, just don't matter what I do, they don't like me, and, and you know, got the other fan, and, and, and we call the haters. Hey, man, I appreciate y'all guys as well, too. Y'all thought I was going to say something ugly, didn't you? <laughs> but I appreciate y'all guys, too. I love y'all guys as well, too, because without y'all, you know, my name wouldn't be spreading all over the world, you know. For me, it's no bad. It's, it's, it's no such thing as bad publicity for me. So, hey, y'all keep doing y'all job as well too, and uh, may the best man win. Well, Deontay Wilder really is rising up the heavyweight ranks, and uh, 2014 could be a big year for him. Thanks, Deontay. It's been an honor having you on Unity FM. Yes, sir. Anytime, guys. Y'all give me a call. Bye, squad.